Hi everyone, this is Evil Dr. Mittens on the Alien Easter Egg Guide for Zombies in Spaceland. So the first thing that we need to do is build a SETI com. To do that we need three pieces, and each of those pieces can be found in three separate locations. The first one we're going to look at is the calculator. This can either be in the arcade, on the bench, as soon as you come out of spawn, or uh, in the Kepler system up on that picnic table bench. The second piece we're going to look for is the stereo. This can be located near the popcorn cart on the lower bridge headed towards Pack-a-Punch in the food court in the Kepler system side of the map. And the final location for the stereo is in the basement right in front of the racing stripes on the counter. So the last piece we need for the SETI com is the umbrella. This can be by the slides in the main area near Pack-a-Punch. The second location is uh, on the journey into space side of the map, right near the rocket trap. And finally in uh, Polar Peak, up on the counter in the gift shop. So once you have all three of these, uh, find the Cosmic Tune Station where Hop is and turn them into him. Um, usually you have to wait two rounds for him to build the SETI com. Uh, you'll know when it's ready because you'll hear a loud horn in the background and the screen will start to shake. At that point, you can go back to the Cosmic Tunes location and get the SETI com from him. If you haven't already started to build a Wonder Weapon, now is the time to do it because you're gonna absolutely need it for the last fight. And actually, if you can get two, it's better. Easiest to make are the Discord and the Shredder, and I'll be putting links in the description to guides for those. Now that you have a SETI com, a location will be activated where you're able to press the action button and put it down. These are the locations that you'll have to check every round for the three rounds that it takes to complete this part of the Easter egg step. Uh, you can only do one SETI com per round, at which point you'll have to kill uh, the remaining zombies and wait for the next round to start before you can find the next location. This gets harder every time you put a SETI com down because you have to keep it safe for longer. Really for this part you want to have the upgraded candles and a boom box to buy you a few extra seconds if you need it. The hardest locations to do in solo are on the bloodstains and the journey into space side and in the fountain. Honestly, if you get those and you're not really comfortable, it's time to reset the game. So after you've completed your third and final SETI com, you go back to Cosmic Tunes Radio and turn it in. Then you have to wait another two rounds and Hop turns it into the speaker. You place those on the gold symbols around the pack of punch and the final one up on the stairs right in front of the portal. Before you start, Simon says with the UFO, make sure you have a piece of paper and a pen. As soon as these are all placed and you activate one, each speaker will generate a color. You'll want to pause the game and draw out where each color is. The UFO that was in the mountain will now be hovering over the Pack-a-Punch portal. So as soon as you unpause the game, turn around and head for the bridge, looking back when you hear the UFO start to make noise. You'll want to try to be close to the speakers uh, around the third color that it shows because you have a very limited time to punch in the right colors. You're going to have to do this three times and make sure that you're reloaded when you run up to the speakers because instead of triggering a speaker you can actually just reload which throws the timing off and then when you fail one round it spawns a brute which makes this much more difficult. So after you complete Simon Says, clowns will start to spawn in. Uh, so you want to kite them around and just turn back and shoot them every once in a while. This is good to get uh, max ammo sometimes, which are great going into the last fight. You'll want to keep running around and killing clowns until the alien comes out of the pack-a-punch portal. So the easiest way to do this is to uh, choose a specific route to run, and then you just keep running it. The one that I found that works the best is running over the bridges and then back up around the furthest bench so you're going right in front of the Pack-a-Punch portal and then when you come back you go all the way around the first sign in spawn. And Really the benefit of this is that the zombies on the bridge don't turn around and meet you head on when you're coming back across after running the circuit. Another rule for this boss fight is only kill things that are in front of you. If you start to kill zombies, they'll just keep spawning and they won't be behind you, which is where you need them. Now to kill the alien, you'll have to use a wonder weapon. Nothing else really does enough damage. Um, 
only shoot at it when it's in front of you. If you run that circuit, there's gonna be times where it never shows up in front of you, but turning back to shoot it is dangerous because you're going to kill zombies and then they're gonna to start to spawn everywhere. And if he's behind you and you get him down to the next stage of this fight, you won't be able to do what you need to do. So the alien's health bar is the gem on its chest. It goes from green to yellow to red. When it's red, make sure you shoot him at a distance because you're gonna to have to run up to him and hit him in the back and there's an animation that needs to play out before you can melee him in the back and knock one of the fuses out. That last example is what I mean. I didn't have enough distance between us, so now I have to get him down again to do the first part. This is how you should do it. Uh, so now his shield's down, you hit him in the back and turn around and run. He'll get up and start transporting. Uh, if you kill any of the zombies now, they'll drop a max ammo, which you'll probably have to do. Candles can be really beneficial in this fight, but they don't do much damage to him and there's a good chance if you have one wonder weapon, you're gonna run out of ammo with it. So after both fuses have been knocked out, uh, you just have to down the alien one more time. Just keep doing the same thing because it's really tempting to just try to shoot him with everything you've got, but you'll probably die. Uh, as soon as he's dead, head back to pack a punch, pick up the alien fuses, and head inside. So the last step in this Easter egg is to shoot down the UFO from the Simon Says portion. It will be shooting homing rounds at you, so you need to come into pack a punch, install the alien fuses and upgrade your wonder weapons. Uh, as soon as you get out of here you want to head for the Spaceland arc and shoot the blue markers in it until they turn yellow. You want to leave the top center one until you're sure that the UFO is over the Pack-a-Punch portal because it is possible to miss. These can actually be kind of tricky to trigger for some reason but once you finally get them it'll shoot a beam to the Pack-a-Punch which will hit the UFO. The UFO crashes into the mountain and that's it, you've beaten the Easter egg. Uh, the last step is to just go to the Pack-a-Punch portal where the soul key will be floating and you'll get the soul key achievement if you have not done this already. I think this is actually probably one of the hardest Easter eggs in the game uh, because there's so many things out of your control that can go wrong. If a zombie spawns on you, it'll lock you into place and you'll get insta down basically. And uh, the alien can actually just teleport onto you, which is pretty much instant death. Anyway, hopefully this guide will help you get past it and never ever look back again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next tutorial.